Okay, this is our engine, yeah? Yeah. And it's a winding engine, double acting. And, and basically, what it's did for all its life, there's the beam or the bob. This would be the bob wall, but as it's inside, like this. And basically what it does, that sweet rod there goes down to the crank, which is painted black, two foot throw, turns the shaft. The shaft has that huge flywheel on it, which um, evens the torque out on the shaft. So the two drums outside are getting as near as possible an even pull because it's double acting. In other words, it's getting a burst of energy twice every revolution. If it's only once, it's not the chance on the, on the drums. So that's what it was. It was built the Harveys of Co in 1840, and it ran here for 90 years till 1930 when the mine closed. It's unique in the world. It's an original place and everything else. That's a depth indicator. And the driver sitting in the saddle would know there were two pointers originally. Um, they would know exactly where the skips were in the shaft. Because as one went up, one went down, and you'd have an idea. So if you ever left and come back, you'd know what was happening. Um, what's happening down the bottom here is not pumping water. It's expelling the water we're using to create the vacuum, which is what we actually how our engine runs. Basically, it runs on compressed on, on steam pressure. We then condense the steam, it makes a vacuum. We then use a vacuum, so we're getting a double whammy out of steam. That's why you don't see steam. But could you turn the steam on for me, please? People yeah. don't believe we got steam here, so we'll show you what we do. Right. Now, if you feel full of steam, you sell it in bags in the, in the, in the, in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be a big one, so it's not going to be a big one. We've got a boiler that produces 100 psi, now it's going. Uh, we bring it in here with limiters and safety valves and lots of other things for around about something less than 30. Uh, the original pre the pressure actually you know, on the cylinder itself is around about four or six pounds. Um, that's how it works. It's volume of steam we use rather than the pressure. Uh, that, that's what all these engines require. And the size of that engine is, a, is the diameter of the piston. Very briefly, there's only two measurements in Cornish mining. The size of an engine and fathoms. And it's like a baked bean tin, and the lid is the piston going up and down. And it's the diameter of that gives the size of the engine. And this is 27 inches. It's a very small engine. It's been double acting. It's almost twice the twice the thing. So. George will now start it for you. And uh, so the piston's inside the way. Yeah, that's a cylinder, baked bean tin piston inside going up and down. Mm -hmm. We push it down with steam part way. Mm -hmm. We then turn the steam off. And then the previous steam from the previous stroke we condensed, which is now a vacuum, which mm -hmm. sucks the piston the rest of the stroke. We then shut all the valves, open the bottom one, and push steam in to push it part way back up. And the steam from the previous one we've now made a vacuum, suck it back up again. So we're pushing it down and up with steam, and sucking it up and down with steam, mm -hmm. with, with, the, with the vacuum. Yeah? The vacuum's all in the left hand side, and down under the bottom we've got a huge system of water where all the condensing apparate uh, process actually happens. Now, take the handbrake off over there. And you notice how very quiet this engine is. It's just noisier than the engine. That pond of water out there, we use, um, we recycle it. It's be used for the condensing of the steam. Actually moving is about 12 tons. It's actually physically moving to that 12 tons. Oh, please go on the bob block and have a look up there, but no riding on it, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make your way up, up the top there and have a look. Yeah. 